Burlington traffic, twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie is taxiing out for 29. And traffic inbound in Burlington, radio check, how do you hear? Loud and clear. Thank you, just had some work done, just checking, thanks. Alrighty guys, we are taxiing out. Just got gas. Eric did the uh, pickup and delivery service, came and picked me up at Aurora. And here we are with our brand new pretty airplane, new avionics, all new dash. Super excited. We're going to do a test flight. After maintenance test flight, super important. I spent over a full hour pre-flighting, went over everything in great detail. Don't have any passengers. Rebrief the emergency procedures, do a really good run up. And uh, then we'll depart. And if anything doesn't look good, we'll, de we'll abort. It's a crosswind picking 2 9 because traffic's inbound to 2 9. And also, there's uh, better fields off the end, if anything. It's too sideways. Can't wait to test it all out in the air. Do a quick run up, and we'll be back. All right, traffic's touching down. Don't see anybody else. We'll go on out here. Make sure to do a good full engine power run up before we depart. Burlington traffic, twin Cessna 771, Bravo. Charlie's taking runway 29 for departure to the south of uh, Burlington. Burlington traffic, Skyhawk 378, Mike, off on the departure leg 29 or we'll be making a left turn out to the south, Burlington. Up on the runway, there's nobody coming inbound, so we're gonna take our time. All right, we got everything full forward. Oh, and I'll let that guy get a little bit more out of the way. Run it up for just a little bit. Travis Skyhawk, 378, Mike Alpha, 1 mile to the southwest of the fields, 1,500 climbing 3,000, early. 90. Rotate. Hit the brakes. Gear coming up. Clapping out a blue Burlington traffic, twin Cessna 771, Bravo, Charlie is going to circle over the top of Burlington one time. Burlington traffic. Chicago approach, twin Cessna 771, Bravo, Charlie with a request. 771, Bravo, Charlie, squawk 5150. 5150, Bravo, Charlie. I forgot I had a remote transponder. Bravo Charlie is 3500 just north of the state line. Roger, transponder just came up, radar contact, uh, altimeter 2995, stay outside to Bravo, what attention? 2995, uh, just picking the plane up from some avionics work, I'm just going to do some work uh, down in Sector 3's airspace down by Aurora. And uh, what else did you show me at? 3600. Thank you very much. What type twin Cessna? Cessna 310. Roger. All right, we're going to do some hand flying. we got to be on the lookout for some bees, because I ended up popping the bee, and there was one more flying around when we were on the ground. But we're going to go up to 4,500. Columbia Zero, Tango Mike, contact approach, 133.5. 33.5, Zero, Tango Mike. Bravo, Charlie, approach. 
Go ahead. Long way from Dupage, where are you coming from? Uh, Burlington. Okay, we're just talking about that, so. Yeah, I just got uh, all new avionics, transponder, and everything, so I'm just trying to do a maintenance test flight here. Look at their toys. Yeah. All right, let's see if the autopilot works. Heading mode is working. All right, so we're at 4,400. Let's go to 5,000. Vertical speed, let's do it at 500 feet per minute. Hey, you're one mic Sierra, traffic 12 o'clock, three miles up to direction 3,000 on Columbia. Okay, one mic Sierra, be looking. Chicago approach, Falcon 172, 55 Juliet with you at uh, 5,000 with India, we'll keep you in sight. For 172 Fox Juliet, descend to maintain 3,000, lower about 5 miles, via visual approach, runway 23. Yeah, 3,000, 725 Juliet. One mic Sierra's got traffic. Sierra, Roger. Going into nav mode. Altitude 200 to go. She's still talking. Well, Sierra, to turn right heading 050 to send to maintain 3000. 050 down to 3000 out of 401, Mike Sierra. Additional traffic now. Uh, call at 1 o'clock and about 3 miles. Primary target only, no altitude readout. Looks like he's northwest. Okay, 1 Mike Sierra. Okay, Mike Sierra, Sierra. Falcon 2 Fox Julia, clear visual approach, runway 23, Waukegan Tower 120.05. Individual 2-3 going to tower 2-0-0-5, 2 5 2 thanks, Dave. Yep. All right. Well, nav mode works good. The capture mode seems to be working fine. Altitude. Well, the VOR localizer's working. Nav mode's working. Let's go down to 4,500. So I'm getting traffic painted on this. I'm getting traffic painted on that. I have no idea how Jamie's going to want to do this, but... I want to tango, we have the traffic in left. Traffic's being painted on that. Assessing 1 Bravo Charlie, contact approach 133.5. 33.5, 1 Bravo Charlie, so got. Altitude 200 to go. Approach to Assessing 771, Bravo Charlie is with you, 4,700 for 4,500, just flying around. 771, Bravo Charlie, Chicago Approach, Roger, Midwest Center, 296, and Caution, Silver Sound and Call Sign, our frequency 58, Bravo Charlie. 1 Bravo Charlie, Roger. All right, let's test the radar. November 771, Bravo, Charlie, you're gonna fly uh, near Aurora, and then where are you going back to? Okay, right now I'm just uh, going over to the Cal, and then I'll be kind of uh, down just west of Aurora, staying in your airspace, just testing out a bunch of new systems. All right, Roger. I'm just being a kid in the candy store, you know, testing out my goodies. All right, so now let's put it in test mode. Guys, this is going to be so awesome. I'm going to do some really good filming with the camera right here so you guys can see all this, but... There are five, eight, brother, Charlie, Charlie, the fact that turn left, zero, three, zero. Right now. We got to stay vigilant while we're doing all this. We got the cab airport up here. We got nobody. Then a thousand feet of us. All right. So it's painting. 
Everything went green, so that's good. So now let's just turn the radar on. Hopefully this is coming out. So, you can see as I tilt the radar down, it starts painting the ground now. That's how you know it's working. On a day like this, so you paint the ground, you can see all the returns. We'll lift it up a couple of degrees. I got it set to a 40 mile map. We'll try to just paint the edge of the ground at 20 miles or so. We'll toy with this more in the future, but we got radar, y'all. So, another, I've been so busy dealing with all this stuff here. Another really cool thing, guys. Check it. Never, ever, ever am I going to hear anything else about sun visors. We got these things will extend in, extend out, they'll move all around. Rosin sun visors. They are amazing. You can see through them, but it blocks the sun. I don't know. It'll be interesting to see how you guys can see through them. Probably not very well, but going to be so happy. No more falling down every time I land, even though those landings were ultra smooth greasers. Now we just got to find a clip-on mirror for Jamie that doesn't scratch the rosin sun visor. We'll have to see about that. Okay, so the radar works. The GPS has worked, the IFD 550, the IFD 540. I do not hear the traffic, so I'll have to look into that. It's probably muted somewhere in there. The AMX 240 works very well. That's my audio panel. IFD 550 works awesome. There's synthetic vision, traffic. The Aztec 3100 is integrated perfectly with the G5s, the IFDs. Then we got the IFD 540 over here. It's got Crossville. Jamie's got her own full-size traffic screen. That'll be outstanding. And the Avidon EX500 has integrated the radar into it, and it shows traffic now and weather. We got a lot to do. The only thing I have to do is figure out, because before my transponder was where Core Flight got its traffic and weather, and right now it's following me off of Wi-Fi, but I can't get it to show traffic. I'm definitely missing something there. So, no big deal. Chicago to park direct contact, climb and change, 4,000. So far, everything is working uh, really quite well. And approach for one Bravo Charlie. They're advertising uh, the RNAV runway 15. one five. I'm going to vector myself outside of New Elge and just uh, practice that VFR if that's okay. No one Bravo Charlie, Roger. Uh, maintain VFR. Local. Cool. All right, we're 10 miles from New Elge. Pull the power back a little. Okay, so right now I set the GPS up for the RNAV runway 15. Runway 15 is the active, we have the ATIS, we got the tower programmed in. So now we're direct New Elge and we're already slowing up. I got 21 and a half inches programmed in here. So, let's see how she goes. Looks like there's some traffic coming up ahead. 400 feet above us, 1800 feet below us. As we cross by the cab. Oh, I got the guy 400 feet above us. Oh, Jamie's going to be so excited to see all this awesomeness. All right, she's turning inbound. So let's go ahead and put it in approach mode. So one Bravo Charlie and uh, additional traffic, uh, one o'clock, two miles, 2,400. He'll stay above you. Contact Aurora Tower, 120.6. One Bravo Charlie, sounds good. See ya. Aurora Tower, Twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie, practice our nav runway 15, full stop. Twin Cessna 771, Bravo Charlie, Aurora Tower, That's runway 15, clear to land. One Bravo Charlie, runway 15, clear to land.
All right, so far so good. Scott 442, no known or observed traffic to the northeast. Frequency change is approved. Take care. Right underneath that guy. Got a good crab then. There's a Lancer 200. Alright, we're on speed. We're about 140. The glide slope's about a one dot high. When it gets to glide slope intercept, we'll put the gear down. And we're clear to land. Intercepted the glide slope on its own. Shooting the approach pretty nice down the final. So we got gas. Fuel pumps are on low. Fuel is on the mains. Undercarriage. Three green. Mixtures and props are all set pretty well. A little bump. The mixture's up just a skosh. And we're perfectly on our speed. Hugging right around 135, 140. Got both needles nailed. Man, I love these avionics. On a very windy day. Gets us right in here, lined up. All right, autopilot's coming off. Like a notch in that flaps coming in. Blue line on short final on glide path. Gears down. Lots of birds. Not having seen my airplane in over a month, that will work. Princess, no one, Bravo, Charlie, say parking. The one DC, we're going down to Skyhaven. Um, I would request to maybe get on a runway that you're not using to check my compass real quick, if you don't mind. I just had some work done. Princess, no one, Bravo, Charlie, you can uh, make a left turn runway niner. Taxi to parking via niner Alpha One and cross runway three six, and that'll be all at your discretion. One Bravo Charlie, perfect. I'll uh, taxi to nine, cross three six, and uh, we'll get down there at the uh, end of the runway, and we'll check something out real quick. Thank you. All right, all right. Very nice here, very accommodating. G5s are working good. I got some ring lights, which you guys can't see, but you'll be able to see them at night. Working good. They light up the backlight on the primary instruments. Um, Backup CDI is working great. Insight G4 is working awesome. This panel looks amazing. It's all cleaned up. All the new Avidyne avionics work perfectly. S-Tech integrates great with everything. There are no issues there. The panel's all cleaned up. Two thumbs up to Burlington Air Center for an amazing job well done on... Oh, and they pulled 30 pounds of wire. 3-0 of wire and uh, the old DME useless stuff. So not only did we get a beautiful new panel upgrade, 
with a bunch more functionality, usability. We got the SkyTrack 605A active traffic. So we're not reliant on ADSB to send us traffic. We actually ping the traffic ourselves, uh, which will be awesome. So we got all sorts of new features that we'll be talking about and upgrades. And we actually lost weight in the process. Got to love new technology. Thanks again for riding along, guys. That was kind of boring. I was very focused on checking out everything so I could make a you know list if there was anything that needed to be worked on or whatever for the shop. Next flight, uh, well, we got a couple of really cool trips coming up for you guys. We'll see which one comes about first. Till next time, we'll see you guys later.